Okay, welcome back everybody to um, NQIS Steve. Exciting, exciting, exciting times. Well, it is for hacking nerds like me. Um, the main reason that I dropped $75 plus freight Australian, which ended up costing me about $97.50 or something from Hobby King, delivered in that ultra short time that I told you about. The whole reason I've really done this, because I was quite happy with um, my version ones at the moment. But, you know, you know, I'm not a ultra pilot that needs it, really. But I watch Bruce Simpson ask in model reviews. Big shout out to you there, Bruce. And um, as soon as he put them on the bench and took the top off, I went, oh, yeah. And then he pulled that receiver out, and even without the programming pins being able to put on, I was imagining soldering the wires all on the back of it and getting it done. Um, Mr. Kernan, he just did a fabulous job and showed us how it was all done, how quickly you could actually write a little bit of software up and whack it on the net and get a job done. So um, I've sort of gone nice and slow. I've soldered my six pins onto my programmer header and I've made my cable. Now I've made my cable once before so it wasn't that hard for me and I had all the files there. So at the end of this particular video I'll put up once again the images of how to make the lead. All right, so you can double check everything. Now I have had the meter out again because I went to bed. God knows what the mice could have done while I was asleep. And I've rechecked everything. I'm happy. It's ready to go. Watch video one to show you how I made it. Okay. Just out of interest for those who are taking close, close, close looks, I have removed the bit of solder blob from Jumper 3. So she'll run at the normal speed because um, Mr. Kernan had his as per normal. So I've taken mine off and we're going to give it a go. Okay, so I put my goggles back together the other day and I flew around and I made a vid about the polarization. Go watch that. That's a bit interesting. Um, so I know they're working again after soldering everything back on. If the smoke comes out, it's my fault during this process. So I really wish I could have the camera on my face while we were plugging it in to get my reaction if this magic smoke comes out. But I'm sure it won't. I've checked this enough times. I'm happy. You guys have checked it as many times as me. You should be happy. Let's just jump straight in and do it. Stop talking. Let's just do it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you've seen how I've proved everything's there. I wish I had a camera on my face so that you could actually, if the smoke comes pouring out, you could see the expression on my face. Um, so, here we go. Okay, well I have a red LED which has come on. I don't want to move things around here. Got a red LED that's come on. And no smokes come puffing out as of yet. Okay everyone, here's where we um, was left off before. I've got AVR Dude S running. Uh, I've already clicked detect and watch what happens. Okay, so we've detected an Amiga at 328p with the 32kb of flash and 1 kilobit EEPROM. I've now got program come up. 
got right here. I've got my file in. I'm going to go go. And here we are. It's uploading the Cyclops plus hex to the board. It appears to be writing it fine. It's now reading it. Evan Rood, thank you. We're done. So what we're going to do is We're plugging the two sets of cameras in. One's looking at the pie man over there. One's looking at this pie man, me. Okay. And here we go. I'm going to put the goggles up to the screen. First of all, let's plug them in. All right. And we have got the pie man. Can you see that? There he is. The good old Homer Simpson, the pie man. Alright, so I'm going to just go up through these channels now. I think I'm going up. And there is the other camera that's looking at me. So that's just one click through. There's the other camera there. Looking at Mr. Pie Man. Okay. All right. I'm waiting on the OLED screen so I can do the rest of uh, Mr. Kernanen's mod um, modification. Um, I think once we've got that and you can graphically see it going up and down. That's going to be a lot better. See your RSI signal. You'll be able to sit here and see which camera is the strongest by just by the RSI signal showing to you. Okay, guys. Well, that um, concludes the two-part series of flashing the Cyclops Plus firmware to the Cyclops goggles. Um, I've owned the Cyclops goggles for a week now. And it hasn't cost me a cent because I have I already own the AVR programmer. Um, I just looked at another brilliant man's uh, YouTube that showed he showed that he's made some code to do this job. I've followed along. It was quite simple. If you follow along with me, I've tried to show a little bit more than what Kel showed. So hopefully this will all come across as a really easy part of the hacking of it. So just a quick little bit of soldering and Bob's your uncle. Download a few programs. Use your AVR programmer. If you don't have one, it's going to cost you about 10 bucks to get an AVR programmer to you. While you're buying an AVR programmer, why not get the six lead because you'll use it often. Okay, thanks heaps guys for watching. If you like what you've seen, please press like. And if you want to keep seeing more, press subscribe. All right, happy flying. See you out there. Ha, ah, you thought I'd left. One more quick thing. Look at the description down below. Down below, look at the description. In the description will be the link to where I've got all the information off YouTube, off Mr. Kernan's YouTube. I um, hope I'm pronouncing his name correct. Anyway, it's going to be written there in English or German or whatever it happens to be. And follow that link and follow the link to my uh, the drawings that I downloaded. And the links for the software will be there as well. So don't forget, in the description. See you.